Hi everybody and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm so excited today because I was waiting for this update for a whole year. I'm using ClickUp a bit more than a year now for my project management inside the Paperless Movement business, actually the business behind the Paperless Movement, to manage my projects and the video creation and all this. But today I want to talk about a specific feature that was really not as good in ClickUp. I mean, ClickUp, they claim they are the tool to replace them all. Well, you can doubt this because obviously different people have different needs and trying to be the best in every way is a hard task to accomplish. However, they've been great when it comes to project management and building up your own custom system. But what wasn't so great so far was the docs section. But what they did now is integrating the docs feature inside ClickUp the way that I was wishing for. And now I can finally use ClickUp as my single source of truth for my business, where we have all the work instruction SOPs in the same place where we also do actually the work. This is a big advantage. And what these features are, we will find out now. Okay, before we dive into all the new features that this new update has to offer, I want to show you the structure that I used before as a workaround. If you know how ClickUp works, you know that on the side we have a side panel where we can create lists, where we can manage our projects in there, so for the video production for example and things like that. That's it. We were able to create lists. However, my workaround now was to create a list and actually create a view as a doc. So this was already available and we could create a docs view here. And this way I was able then inside this view to create docs and subcategories and so on. And this is how I managed the conventions, the SOPs and so on so far. So this is not a full list of my SOPs yet. This is still living on Notion and other platforms that I now will consolidate all into that ClickUp, especially due to the new update. The issue was it was still a list, okay? So I still had this view here. It was a bit confusing. Um, also this work, I really appreciate the new way they did this now. So what we can do now, we can have a plus, we have a plus button here and we can create new doc. This wasn't available there. So you see, it it will actually create a doc there, okay? So we can rename this doc um, and we call it video production. So why didn't I call it now SOPs? Well, the SOPs was to me the folder and in there we had the subfolders and the sub subfolders or the categories, whatever you want to like to name it. So what I do now, we can now create a new folder that I actually call SOPs. And in this folder, we will move the video production and then we have it in this folder. So we have the same structure now, SOPs, video production. And now I can go here and this is actually what I need to do now. I need to move over all this information. So I move this now to video production and it turns up here. There it is. I can get rid of this empty one and now there we are, okay? And the same is for all the other stuff. I can now create a new doc called ClickUp and how to create newsletter and so on. And this will be in there. So I can get rid of this. I have then one folder that I can now give a color. And then we have really the docs available in a nice order. So now let's have a look at the other features they just added. So I have an empty doc here that I just created in order to show you this. We can collapse this and we can collapse this. So this means we have a great view on things here. I really like how they manage this now. So we have a real great look at this. We have the author there and we can update the metadata to our liking. So on the side panel here, we either can click here and we have the pop-ups there so we can go through this or we can go here to make it full or up full and it makes a side panel like this or we can open and close it here or we can close it here. Okay, so it's very intuitive. You will find how to do this. We have nice stuff like statistics. I love statistics. So, so we could now enable this and while I'm writing, it shows down here how many words, characters and so on we have here. And the statistics here, reading time, very important. I really think this is important, especially if you're writing scripts or if you are writing blog posts and so on, that you know the reading time and this is very handy. And then we have focus mode. So this will just highlight what you are write, write, writing on instead of um, 
the whole thing. So you can really focus on the block that you're writing in right now. Probably this was some of these were available already. However, they are now very neatly shown here. So another nice feature they just added is that we can protect single pages. So if you know Coda, for example, as an alternative for Notion, it's a nice tool. However, they don't allow single page protection. So either you let people inside and they see all the pages or not at all. And here I can protect single page. So I need to upgrade to Business Plus. So this is not included in the in the plan that I'm using right now. But this is now a thing if you really need it. And then obviously you can, you can publish it also in a nice way to the public. So you can make it read only and publish it this way. Okay, so now we have the different font formats and the size and so on. But we have an advanced section here. So we can go here, we can write something down. And then when you change here, it will increase the overall font size. If you go here, you have the line height, so we can narrow this down. We have the paragraph spacing and the page width. So we have a lot more control. And then we can apply the typography that I set up here to all the other pages. So this is great as well. I love it. So the next thing that I want to show you is actually the relationships and backlinks. We already were able, when we go here and we start writing, to mention a person. If you do two ads, we can mention a task, or we make three ads, we can mention a doc. So here I want to mention now another doc that I created, which is the relationship doc, just for the example, and it's here. If we hover up there, we see relationships. So there's nothing in there, nothing in there on the side here either. However, this being said, I can click here, and now you see when we're on this other doc, we have the backlinks listed here, and this just means that this doc was mentioned in another doc, and this is what, what the backlinks is all about. So also on top, very conveniently, we have it here. And when we click on this or on the side, we will just jump to the page where this was mentioned in. I think it's a bit confusing because I actually mentioned the other page, so I would expect that it shows up in a page links as well. However, I think they just wanted to manage it this way. So if you don't if you don't relate inside the text to another page, you would just add it here. So I could do it this way and then not mentioning it here. So we have the relationships on a one place and then I click here and then you see this is not a backlink anymore. It's a page link. They differentiate between page links. So you really link the pages together and actually backlinks, which is just mentioning another page or mentioned in another page. I like that they have the referencing this system. Is it something like Obsidian or Notion? I'm not sure. Uh, I, I think it's a bit confusing that we have this differentiation between page links and backlinks. Why don't you just make one relationship links, so a list of the links that it's going to. And external links is the outgoing links. Just add a page that you've referring to. So after reloading, it shows up and there we go. We have then the list of external links. So if we have a list of, you know, other blog posts we are going to, this is very convenient to have it in here. And if we hover over this, we can go in here and edit this or we can delete it. We can copy the link. We can just get rid of this. We write uh, external website as an example. We select it and we just paste it over the selected text and it makes it a link, you see? And now we have the text external website and it's going out to this link. And then we reload, so it seems it's not all updating on real time. Doesn't matter, works, still works. And now when we have a look on the relationships, you see now it's called external website and the link is going out there. That's great. So this is about the relationships. So we have the template section now. We have now easy access to the template. So I could now go here and say, let's just education class notes. And by adding the template, you see it added the template now here down there. And now we have a new doc with the template. So here you actually see table of contents. So we had this already before that we can click. This is exactly the way Notion would show you this, but Coda has a floating content table. And now look at this. ClickUp just added this as well. So if you go down here, you have sticky table of contents. You click here and you see this icon appears. So we can get actually rid of this. We don't need this if we don't want the overview. And now we can go here and now we have all the chapters in there. We can click here and we can jump around and it seems that the empty spaces, they also made a heading out of this. So if we delete this 
Uh, this is just an issue in the template, it seems. Now we have really the different chapters. We click here, it jumps down, but we still have the table of contents there. And for SOPs and very quickly skimming through your documents, this is gold. This is really thumbs up. And by the way, if you like the video and you think this is useful, give it a thumbs up and make sure to share it with your friends who don't know that ClickUp has now to offer all these nice features. What I also like uh, when we comment now something, this is a comment. This was already available before. I can assign it to myself or other people. I can mention people and so on. I give it a comment. It shows up the comment icon on the side. So I know there's a comment. I click here. I can, we can have a discussion and so on. However, you see now here, a comment is highlighted. Okay. It shows a number. Also, when you close it, it's available there as well. So we click on this. Um, we, we go here. And we see now all the open comments. We can go to the assign to me comments and the resolve comments. Thumbs up again. I love it. Okay, another feature. I think this is great that I added this. So when we go to view, we were able to add list views, but now we can actually add table views. So the difference is a list view. Let's add a list. It just embeds the whole list as it is. Okay. Now when we add a table view and we pick the same list that I just picked there, you see, we have a difference and there's a big eye button there that we need to click and we have a, actually a table view of the things that we have there. So I could now go in here and say filter by priority. And now I have a separate filter in this view that has nothing to do with the original filter. So I now have a lot more control over what is shown inside the list group by. And then we can group by priority. And now we have groups. See, it groups now in normal, high, so we can even close this. This is awesome. And this is now part of the doc. We have it in there. So I think this is a great feature as well. And another last thing that I want to share with you is actually the export functions. I know this was already available before. You know, it's a much more like a workflow now that I can go through here. And I just need to go to the export section. You see, I can export it as a HTML, a PDF and Markdown. So I could prepare now everything in Obsidian and then just go to Markdown and just import the Obsidian file. Let's just quickly do this. So we just take a random file there, open this up. And now you see it's ad it's adding it. And here we go. Have you heard of Tattle Mask custom method? Uh, even with the external link, you see in the relationships now that this goes out to the other page. I can click here. Everything works great. So I can easily import my markdown file. So this makes it very easy to prepare the stuff in Obsidian in my personal knowledge management system and bring it into ClickUp the easy way. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about this new update. I think it's awesome. It's the right step into the right direction. ClickUp is still a fairly young tool, but it grew so fast, so quickly. And I'm confident that we will see a lot more to come in the future. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the next update. And I'll catch you up next time.